Every house I go to looks forward to me bringing a bottle. <laughs> Hello, it's Coquito season. Coquito season. And of course, I'm gonna be taste testing to see how good this recipe really is. We're just gonna pour until somebody says stop. Yeah. Uh, Coquito is very popular during the holidays. It's in every house you go to. Everybody makes it different ways. This is just a traditional one, but if you go to Puerto Rico, you're gonna taste it in every flavor. Cheesecake, Nutella, pistachio, anything you can think of, people make them. All right, so as far as the ingredients, we definitely need to start out with Puerto Rican rum. So we have Don Q, Yep. or you can always add Bacardi. Yep. So the coquito has, everybody has their own little recipe. You can play with it, but um, I use condensed milk, uh, evaporated milk. You can do two evaporated milks. Cream of coconut, which is during this time, is very hard to find at grocery stores. So if you can start buying it around October, start buying it. Coco Lopez, that's a good brand to use. So we're gonna actually use two of them. And coconut milk. And you also will add a little bit of vanilla extract, cinnamon powder, nutmeg, just a little bit. Um, and I will be adding uh, cinnamon sticks to each bottle so that the flavor sticks better to the Coquito. Yes. The flavor yeah, of cinnamon. Definitely helps. So we're going to use two cans of coconut milk, correct? And make sure you have a good can opener. This is an amazing one. It's called Kitchen Mama. Love it. And you can just put it it's right the easiest thing. on the edge. Hit the button. And around it goes. Just make sure you keep it level. You want to keep it down on the counter. Hit the button. It goes back a little bit. And it should pop right on off. There we go. All right, so this is the first can of evaporated milk. Wondering, we got this on Amazon, Kitchen Mama. It's like the best thing. <laughs> and let's go with the second can. And the lid should pop right on Look off. Look at that. There we go. Nice, easy, clean cut. You don't get so this can. is can number two of evaporated milk. Here you go. All right. Now we're going to add our can of sweetened condensed milk. This one will need so this is a little thicker. So I'll let her take over. She's going to spoon this that out. This takes a while. So get it all out. Good. If you don't like rum, some people make virgin coquitos. You can play with it. You kind of get the rest of the condensed milk with, your, with a spoon. Because this is super thick. That I will be the cream of coconut is like super super thick, so you have to blend it first before you mix it with everything. Get it out. I think Luna is already smelling it. Hey, girl. Hi, Luna. There we go. Super thick coconut. Now I'm gonna add both cup coconut milk. Make sure all this mixes well. Look at all this. And this is how it looks right now. It's looking good. Everything looks well mixed. I'm gonna eyeball things, so here we go. Not a lot. A little bit of nutmeg. 
Perfect. Okay, you don't want to go too strong with the nutmeg. So the cinnamon, we're going to hold off on the cinnamon. We have to make sure that the alcohol is in there first. Yes. That's going to help it from clumping up. In fact, uh, a lot of people will add the cinnamon to the alcohol separately. But we find we usually don't have problems as long as the rum is in there. Okay, let's add the rum. So let's go. We have the Don Q, so we have a pretty big bottle, and we're going to use quite a bit of it. There's no measuring, so we're just going to pour until somebody says stop. <laughs> there we go. Oh, crazy. Ja. Ja. We gotta taste that first. Don't worry, you can't put too much in. Okay. Do we mix it before we put the powder? Yeah, let's stir it up a little bit. Oh yeah, there's no clumps from the coconut in here. Alright, so add the cinnamon. We're gonna stir as we add. Awesome. Yeah, like that. Right, so along with the cinnamon, we're going to also add cinnamon sticks to the bottles. So you don't have to go too crazy with the powder. Mm -hmm. Alright. So since I'm wearing the shirt that says I'm the tester, let's give this a try. Put some in the cup. All right. In your cup? Sure. Here. Tell me if we need more rum. What do we need more? Okay. Let's give it a try. Okay, cool. Here we go. The tester. You taste the coquito or you taste more rum? You don't have to balance it out. You usually have to take a couple sips, let it sit a little while. We're gonna need more rum. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> more rum. A lot more rum. Nita? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Definitely taste the coconut that's in there. You gotta still taste the coquito. It cannot just be rum. All right, now I'm tasting the rum a little bit. Let's get more. I want to have you take a try. You let me know. I still think we can add more rum. You have a pretty big batch. A little bit of more rum. See, there you go. Ay, ay, ay. Excellent. All right. Little stir. Yeah. You just repeat this process as often as you want. You can always tinker with the recipe. And if you make it too strong, you can doctor it up by adding more evaporated milk. Like you can play with the recipe. I think we should add a little more cinnamon. Probably. Yeah, a little bit more. Even though we will get more flavor with the sticks. Alright. So another taste. Third time? Fourth time, the charm? Second time? There we go. Okay. Now? Now it's tasting like coquito. By the way, I don't add eggs to my coquito. So it can be in your fridge for a long time. Very good. You like it? It needs more. It needs a little more rum. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> Adios mio. So yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's going down. Okay, final shot. Yeah, final I think this is, this is going to be good. Here, let me take the rest of this. Go ahead. Just one more. All right, salute. How does it taste? How does it taste? Very good. Tastes excellent. Hey, buddy. Lucas is watching here. 
one day he's gonna be able to try this. Check it to see if the camera's right. Okay, puppy. It smells so good. Like one of those, so that smell sticks to the coquito. I think we'll have for, I'll see if I can fill up that second bottle for now. Now, the longer the coquito sits in the fridge with those cinnamon sticks, the better flavoring you're gonna get out of them. So do this a good day or two ahead of time. I need a little bit of room on the top so we have room to shake. Shake it. Let's see how many bottles we get to do. First bottle is done. All right. You see the sticks already moving there. In the fridge it goes. Try to keep it in, the, in there when you're pouring, just for flavor. Every house I go to looks forward to me bringing a bottle. <laughs> and in Puerto Rico, I don't know, culture-wise, I was taught you don't show up anywhere with your hands empty. So if I'm invited somewhere, I will bring something. Even if it's a bottle of wine, coquito, whatever. I think we're gonna be able to do three bottles. Yep, Ooh, I filled that up too much, whoops. I think I'm gonna have to use a third bottle, coquito. You know how long we've had that bottle of Bacardi? Yeah, if you, you can buy these on Amazon, like, per case. But if you want to recycle, tell your friends and everybody to save them, to save the empty bottles and reuse them during the holidays. Good idea. Um, let me get a cinnamon stick. So here it is, I made three and a half bottles for the holidays. Um, I'm gonna put them in the fridge before we serve them to everyone. And I will have the recipe below. So go check it out. And uh, happy holidays, Feliz Navidad, Merry Christmas.